is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear the proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them and their own twists on the tale, but there are some motifs that keep on reappearing. The gatherers. This story reaches all the way back in time to the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods, and there were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revents. They move slowly through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambitions to steal living creatures. And it, and it is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragging behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark schemes they follow. How long is this? Okay. A visit undone. Hence, Cornelius Ambergrapa. The well known Andrew of Visit Alstad as the start of the sixteenth century. He resided in local inn for at a fortnight as he looked for the remnants of the old kingdom past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. Only, oh sorry, one day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Ah! The immortal Baron, the Baron of Brandsburg, lives in a course of life with his family at the castle nearby Alstad. So this is Alexander, right? Okay. And the most of those noble birth rumors have inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late sixteenth century. It was built it oh, it was rebuilt by Alexander, a noble from Rhinelands, claiming that the role as protector in the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family, the family, the family, the family has always been secretive when it comes to the lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been recorded. This has fled to the idea that the Baron is in fact the same who came from west over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the Convenant Order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. Oh my god, that... Ugh, no, no, that was a long read. Oh, hey. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Oh damn! Oh, what you gonna do? You can't handle me. Okay, time for freaky stuff. Hello, hello, freaky. 
just gonna open you fast. Hello. Hello. I thought it was a oh well hello there. Okay, before everything ah, I knew it. Oh, it's only one page. Oh, I can do this. Okay. Well, and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusted, trusty servants. What? This, it's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brent, Brennenburg. I need to lock William and his man up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. That should, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Oops, he, he's gonna poison it. He's gonna poison the wine. Get it? Because it, it'll solve both the problems. He had an excess amount of wine. Oh god, I'm wasting this lantern art. Oh lord. Okay. Give me that key. Okay. Hello. I hear a slight mumbling. I hear a slight mumbling. Hello. Okay. See. See. Why the hell do I go now? Okay. I've gone insane, haven't I? Okay, I'm still my head still hurts. Okay, okay, I can do this. Oh, ooh, oil. I can do this. I can do it. Do it, I can do it. Do it, I can do it. Hello? Hello? All is good. It's good. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Good? Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh. Whoa. I am. Oh. A handful of sand ticked from the crumbling stone and calling the cavern pushed me from the brain to the hat. He braced himself and the cavern suddenly shifted. Ah. Oh. All is good. Jerk. Scumbag. Man, I have not had it like a drink of water in the longest time. I can feel it. My throat, I go, oh, 
like I can feel it. Oh, we got the wine cellar key. Look at that, look. Oh, cellar bien rea. You know what that means? That means wine cellar key. Wah. Wah. Jump. Light. Oh. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end for a while. And I'll see you later.